perfect. So, something a little bit different today. I've been telling you guys for a while, especially in this video here, that things are a little bit messy on the old shelves. I'm going to have a little blast at getting some stuff in order and I figured it's been a journey. You guys, for you, for, well, for you guys that have been subscribed for quite some time, you've seen this grow, you've seen it change, you've seen lots of things go on here, so I figured why not take you with me? So, I'm going to go and make this fun. Let's get started on this mammoth task. guys it is much easier make sure this is in focus it's getting a lot easier obviously let's keep going with the mega drives Let me just see this, get this in the focus here. We're gonna, I'm gonna move some PS1 games down um, just to make space for the Mega Drive and we'll see, hopefully, I'm trying just to make the most of the space. So, let's continue. Okay, so the Sega Mega Drive it in, we're gonna tackle the PS1 now. This, ugh. Oh, this is a mammoth job. Um, that's that's infused lemon water. Oh, very tangy. Mammoth job. Um, let me know if you want me to continue this because it might be that we do a couple of parts of this. But we're going to crack on with this. Alphabetizing, hopefully making these shelves look a hell of a lot more tidy. And any surplus I have, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But let's continue. have one B. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? C. Plenty of C's then. Move this slightly. So as I'm going through, I have a, I'm missing some C's out, so we're going to obviously just kind of keep sticking them in. A battered, an absolutely battered um, case of croc. I really need to replace that. Uh, PS1 cases are terrible for that, but yeah, picking things up as we go along that I should have picked out before. Okay, so F's next. Okay, we're out of space. Focus this shit in, dudes. Out of space for the S's, so I'm gonna need to move some PS2 down. Meant to say that over there, there's a lot more PS1 games that are like, you know, your Final Fantasies, my really nice stuff. Um, so don't think, oh, where's Final Fantasy VII? Where's Doom? It's over there. Let's move some of these PS2. This really is laborious, you know. So it's time for teas. Teas, and there's plenty of them. Um, kind of 
really do like this Sega Saturn shelf though. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I've just moved everything down here. So let's get on with the tea. Okay, a couple more, literally a few more PS1 games and then I'm going to look at the Sega Saturn stuff um, and then, you know, hopefully, I mean, the, the, the real the real shit kicker is going to be all this PS2 stuff and there's more over there as well. Um, so I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure how that's going to kind of fare, but we, we shall see. So what I might do, um, let me think. Would you maybe if we, I don't know if we could stack the Sega Saturn upwards as opposed to, you know, kind of sideways here. Let's just do it. Let's just see what we get. Okay, as much as I don't like stacking, what I'm, what I'm actually going to do is in alphabetical order we'll pile the sega saturn games here for the remainder of the space and then i'm going to use this space here again as much as i hate that i think that's the, the only way around it um until i can obviously kind of get more shelves and go from there but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it looks um but this is this is fun i'm feeling a little bit better um it's good to have that kind of clean out as laborious as it is um so sega saturn next See, this is the thing with Sega Saturn games. Look how shitty this cool spot case is. It's completely formed to bits. There's nothing to it, which which means it's slightly flattened. But whatever, it plays. Okay, so as you can see, we've got this odd gap here. So it might mean that I move these or rather do something with these to kind of place them up here or just move everything down a little bit um, I'm not sure but I mean it is pretty odd and I just really it, it's gonna mean the Sega Saturn dropping down onto the PS2 shelf I'm not sure how I feel about it but I think I'll try and work with this gap and move all the PlayStation 1 games down and hopefully create a little bit more room in fact, is it worth it? Because I've got probably got more games that will fill. That I need more space. So I think we'll just go, we'll end up going down here. We'll see, we'll see. So I've taken some PS1 games out and I'll find space on that shelf for them there because there's no way those PS1 games are gonna fit in this gap here. So let's continue. Okay, the Sega Saturn uh, self, the Sega Saturn shelf plus this kind of PS1 shelf um, is completely full now. Um, bit of an odd direction on these, starting from the very beginning here, kind of going off. I should do a flip really with them. I'll uh, probably do that later off camera. You get the picture. So it does mean, unfortunately, that some of the PS2 shelf is going to be occupied by some Sega goodness um, and I just kind of wondered if you guys want me to finish this if you want to see the whole room kind of be, be completely done then let me know um, but yes let's do it Okay guys, that concludes this part and I say this part because if you want to see me do the rest of the shells, please let me know. If you don't, then that's absolutely fine. I actually feel a lot better for going through that and you guys have seen this game room change a million times and that's why I wanted to do a video of it. So, hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for the support. Please like, comment and subscribe. Loads of playlists, loads of other different types of videos in the description and check out the cards here. But have a beautiful day. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon, I guess, I hope.
Detonator Oregon, lava filled origins. The story most important. Yes, my lyrical is potent. Destination is for both, even when I'm motivating. Hit man with it, even from a distance. Stopping, I'm a warrior from a past life. For people who don't act right, get verbally slapped twice to see him in the afterlife. Call him in a seance, talk to him about it. Will they test the force again? You can watch them say, I doubt it. Good homie, 